Welcome back to our series on Mojo, an entirely new programming language for all AI developers. Today we're going to guide you through structures in Mojo. Structs in Mojo are like classes in Python, but with their own static twist. They encapsulate fields and methods for abstractions like data types or objects. Fields hold relevant data, while methods perform actions on this data. Imagine structs as containers that hold data and actions in Mojo programs they're like versatile toolboxes. Think of structs as organized boxes, where you store data fields and actions methods together. When you create a struct, you're essentially building a blueprint for a specific type of object. Let's break down the syntax. This is the syntax for structures in Mojo. First, we write the keyword struct, and then give any desired name for the struct with a colon at the end. As it is similar to classes, we will capitalize the first letter of the name. Mojo will also introduce classes like Python in the future. You list down its fields like variables and methods like functions. It's like designing a house you decide how many rooms fields it has, and what each room can do methods. Step into the coding environment as we demonstrate how to create a struct using Visual Studio Code. Open the Ubuntu terminal. Navigate to our working folder. Open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Create a file named struct.mojo. Now write the keyword struct. Let's start with a basic example of struct called mypair. In my pair, we'll have two fields, first and second, both storing integers. We also need a way to set these fields, so we'll create a constructor method called underscore underscore unit underscore underscore underscore. Notice that the first argument in the underscore underscore init underscore underscore method is in out self. For now, ignore in out. It's an argument convention that declares self as a mutable reference. All you need to know right now is that self must be the first argument. It is the reference to the current instance, just like mine in this program. These are the parameters passed when the object is created. We assign these to the fields dot now that we've built our struct. Let's add some functionality. We'll create a method called get underscore sum that calculates the sum of first and second fields. Methods are like special tools stored inside the struct, ready to perform specific tasks. As you know, it requires a main method. In this way, we create an instance or object of the structure. The object is mine, and we pass parameters to my pair. Now, we can easily access the data members with the mine object. Without mine, we cannot access these fields. We will write the object name mine, then do, and then the field's name just like that. Now, we run the file. You can see two, the first member of the pair, and four, the second member. But we can make static methods, then we don't need to create this object. In addition to regular methods, structs can have static methods tools that don't rely on any specific instance. This is the syntax. This is a static method log underscore info in a struct called logger to demonstrate this concept. We write it static method to make it static. When static, self will be removed. In VS Code, we write a static method named message, which will return a message that this is a static method. Here we can directly access message without an object with the structure name only. Now we run it. You can see it is printed. In the next video, we will compare structures with Python classes. Thank you so much for watching.
Please like, share, and subscribe to support me.